Welcome, financial explorers, to our deep dive into Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert T. Kiyosaki, a cornerstone in the world of personal finance. This book stands out as more than just literature. It's a paradigm shift in understanding wealth and success. Over two decades since its publication, it continues to challenge and reshape conventional views on money and prosperity, resonating with millions globally. But what makes Rich Dad Poor Dad so compelling and transformative? That's exactly what we're here to discover. Today, we embark on a journey of uncovering the profound insights and life-altering lessons within this book. Join us as we navigate the wisdom of Rich Dad and Poor Dad, deciphering Kiyosaki's teachings for financial freedom and empowerment. If you're new here or haven't yet subscribed, make sure to do so and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our enlightening content. Prepare to transform your financial narrative. Our journey into the heart of financial independence begins now. Part 1. Meet the Characters Now that we've glimpsed the cover of Rich Dad Poor Dad, let's step into the world of its protagonists, characters who are more than ink and paper, but beacons of wisdom and contrast. Meet Rich Dad, a paragon of financial mastery, whose wisdom flows like a river of prosperity. He isn't just a character, he's a symbol, a beacon of financial freedom in a world often shackled by financial mediocrity. Contrary to being born into wealth and privilege, Rich Dad is a self-made man who embodies the essence of entrepreneurial spirit and strategic wealth building. His journey from modest beginnings to financial success illustrates the power of financial education and savvy investment. His philosophy? Challenge the status quo, think beyond conventional limitations, and learn how to make money work for you, not the other way around. And then there's Poor Dad, a figure familiar to many, a man constrained by traditional financial perspectives, often caught in the cycle of conventional earning and spending. Born into modest means, Poor Dad is highly educated, holding a doctoral degree, and places great value on academic achievement and traditional education. He advocates hard work, job security, and a steady approach to financial stability. He represents the conventional wisdom of relying on a stable job and consistent salary as the primary paths to financial security, emphasizing the importance of a strong educational background in achieving economic stability. And finally, our navigator through this financial journey, Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad Poor Dad. Shaped by the divergent teachings of his poor dad and his friend's rich dad, Kiyosaki embodies the fusion of these distinct financial perspectives. He brings to us the insights and wisdom gleaned from both, offering a unique and practical approach to understanding wealth and success. Together, these characters form the tapestry of Rich Dad Poor Dad, a tapestry woven with threads of wisdom, experience, and the relentless pursuit of financial freedom. Part 2. The Wealth Mindset In Rich Dad Poor Dad, the concept of wealth is profoundly redefined, transcending mere monetary accumulation to embody a powerful mindset. It's an intricate dance between the abundance mentality of rich dad and the scarcity mindset of poor dad. Rich dad, a beacon of this wealth mindset, teaches that true wealth is less about a final financial destination and more about the journey, a journey marked by seeing opportunities where others see obstacles, by valuing freedom and the ability to chart one's own life course, beyond just amassing material riches. This mindset isn't just about wealth creation, it's about cultivating a broader vision, where financial decisions are driven by possibility and strategic foresight rather than fear and conformity. Conversely, poor dad, trapped in a scarcity mindset, views the world through a lens of limitations, where opportunities are few and success is an elusive, often unattainable dream. Through this dichotomy, Kiyosaki illustrates how our perceptions and attitudes towards money can significantly influence our financial trajectory. The book champions knowledge not just as a means to power but as a gateway to freedom, a crucial element in breaking the chains of financial limitation and fostering a mindset of endless possibilities. Kiyosaki's narrative encourages readers to adopt this transformative approach, underscoring the idea that the real key to unlocking wealth lies in the fusion of a powerful mindset and continuous education. This philosophy doesn't just open the door to financial prosperity. It paves the way for a life rich in fulfillment and self-determination, urging readers to rethink their relationship with money and to boldly pursue a path of abundance and empowerment. Part 3. Assets versus Liabilities In the world of Rich Dad Poor Dad, 
the distinction between assets and liabilities isn't just a financial concept. It's the very bedrock of wealth creation and financial intelligence. This fundamental principle is elegantly simple yet profoundly impactful. Assets are things that put money in your pocket, while liabilities continuously take money out. Rich Dad, with his deep financial insight, advocates for a portfolio rich in assets. He sees them as the engines driving wealth forward, investments like real estate, stocks, and bonds, or owning parts of businesses. These aren't just passive holdings, they're active participants in wealth accumulation, each selected with an eye toward income generation, appreciation, and potential for growth. These assets work silently yet effectively, contributing to an ever-growing financial fortress. Contrast this with poor dad's perspective, where the focus often falls on acquiring liabilities, albeit under the guise of assets. A new car, a bigger house, the latest gadgets. These are the trappings of success in many eyes, but in rich dad's philosophy, they are liabilities masquerading as assets. They might provide immediate satisfaction, but they also create ongoing financial obligations, draining resources and offering no return on investment. The crux of Rich Dad's approach is a shift in focus from short-term gratification to long-term financial health. He teaches that accumulating wealth isn't about splurging on the latest trends or the most expensive luxuries. It's about disciplined investment in assets that yield returns and grow in value over time, even when you're not actively working. This approach to wealth is not just about accumulation but about creating a stream of passive income that can sustain and grow wealth over the long term. This philosophy transforms how we view our financial decisions. It encourages us to scrutinize every potential purchase or investment through the lens of asset versus liability. By adopting Rich Dad's mindset, we can start to build our path to financial freedom, a path lined not with extravagant expenditures but with wise, calculated asset acquisitions. So, let us embrace this wisdom from Rich Dad Poor Dad. Let's view assets as our trusted allies on the journey to financial independence and approach liabilities with caution, recognizing them as potential obstacles that can divert us from our path to lasting wealth and abundance. Part 4. The Rat Race In Rich Dad Poor Dad, the concept of the rat race is a critical element, vividly illustrating the vicious cycle that ensnares countless individuals. This relentless pattern, work, earn, spend, and repeat, is not just a metaphor but a stark reality for many. It's a life where effort and time seem perpetually tied to financial survival, with little room for true economic progress. Rich Dad, with his enlightened approach, perceives this differently. He teaches that real wealth and freedom aren't about tirelessly working for money, but about shifting the paradigm, making money work for you. True financial liberation, in his view, is measured not by the long hours or the paycheck, but by the ability to live life on your own terms, pursuing passions and experiences without the burden of financial stress. Poor Dad, meanwhile, embodies the quintessential participant in the rat race. He's caught in a loop of working endlessly, driven by a quest for security and stability that remains just out of reach, often overshadowed by increasing expenses and limited resources. This relentless pursuit often leads to a life of financial dependence, where the promise of comfort and security is constantly deferred. Rich Dad Poor Dad doesn't just diagnose this problem, it offers a path to escape it. The book lays out a roadmap to financial independence, one paved with wise investments, the cultivation of passive income streams, and strategic wealth building. These strategies aren't about quick fixes but a fundamental shift in how we view and manage our finances. By focusing on building income-generating assets, one can gradually extricate themselves from the claws of the rat race, stepping onto a path of financial freedom. This journey leads to a life where choices are driven not by economic necessity, but by personal desire and ambition. Thus, the book implores us to absorb and apply Rich Dad's wisdom, to view smart investments and passive income as vital tools in our quest to redefine our lives. It's a call to break free from the conventional shackles of the rat race, embracing a life where we are the architects of our own financial destiny. Part 5. The Importance of Financial Literacy In Rich Dad Poor Dad, financial literacy is not just a beneficial skill. It's presented as a cornerstone of financial empowerment and independence. This form of literacy goes beyond basic understanding. It's about mastering the language of money, a language that speaks of investments, assets, liabilities, and cash flow. 
It's a superpower that enables informed decision-making, strategic financial planning, and the potential for lifelong prosperity. According to Kiyosaki, financial literacy is the foundation upon which true financial success is built. It's a comprehensive toolkit, encompassing not just knowledge but also the skills and insights needed to navigate the complex world of personal finance. This pursuit involves a commitment to learning that stretches beyond traditional education. It's about embracing a journey filled with curiosity, a willingness to explore uncharted territories, and an unquenchable thirst for knowledge. Kiyosaki stresses that while formal education lays the groundwork, the essence of financial literacy transcends textbook learning. It's honed through real-world experiences, continuous self-education, and an ongoing commitment to understanding the financial forces that shape our world. It starts with grasping the basics, comprehending financial statements, budgeting, and managing money effectively. Then it advances to exploring investments, understanding different asset classes, analyzing market trends, and developing the ability to spot opportunities that align with one's financial goals and risk appetite. Moreover, Kiyosaki emphasizes the value of learning from practical experiences, the successes, the failures, and the invaluable lessons they teach. He encourages learning from mentors and seasoned investors, absorbing their insights and wisdom. This journey of financial literacy is not just about accumulation of wealth, it's about cultivating a mindset that views money as a tool for achieving freedom and realizing one's dreams. So, as we delve into the teachings of Rich Dad Poor Dad, let's embrace financial literacy as more than just a goal, let's see it as a lifelong journey. A journey where knowledge and continuous learning are our most reliable guides in the quest for financial independence and a life of abundance. Part 6. Overcoming Fear and Taking Risks In Rich Dad Poor Dad, the themes of overcoming fear and embracing risk are pivotal to achieving financial success. Kiyosaki emphasizes that fear and risk are not obstacles to avoid, but challenges to conquer. The book sheds light on the common fears around losing money and the risks inherent in investing. It teaches that the path to wealth is fraught with risks, but navigating these risks intelligently is what differentiates successful investors from the rest. Kiyosaki illustrates this with his own journey, where taking calculated risks played a significant role in his financial success. He also highlights the story of Ray Kroc, the mastermind behind McDonald's success, to exemplify risk-taking and vision. Kroc didn't just see McDonald's as a burger business, he saw it as a real estate venture, showcasing a different perspective on identifying and capitalizing on opportunities. This story serves to illustrate how viewing situations through a unique lens can uncover unconventional paths to wealth. Kiyosaki argues that financial education is key to managing risks. It's about understanding the market, knowing your investments, and having the acumen to make informed decisions. He stresses that taking action, despite fear, is essential. Inaction, often a product of fear, leads to missed opportunities and stagnation. The book encourages adopting a mindset that welcomes risk as a companion on the journey to financial freedom, teaching that managing and mitigating risk, rather than avoiding it, is crucial. So, in the spirit of Rich Dad Poor Dad, let us recognize that overcoming fear and taking calculated risks are not just necessary for financial success, they are essential skills for navigating the complex landscape of investing and wealth building. It's a call to step out of our comfort zones, to educate ourselves, and to seize opportunities with confidence and strategic foresight. In conclusion, as we close this enlightening chapter on Rich Dad Poor Dad, it's clear that the journey to financial wisdom is both challenging and rewarding. Robert Kiyosaki's insights have guided us through a paradigm shift in understanding wealth, success, and the power of a financially educated mindset. Remember, the journey towards financial freedom is not just about accumulating wealth, it's about transforming your approach to money, investments, and risks. As we part ways, I encourage you to reflect on these lessons, to question traditional beliefs, and to embrace the possibility of a future shaped by financial independence and empowerment. Thank you for joining me on this journey of discovery. If this summary has sparked a new perspective or inspired you in any way, please share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content that delves into the transformative world of personal development and financial education. Until next time, keep challenging the norms, keep learning, and keep growing. Here's to rewriting your financial story, 
one informed decision at a time. Farewell, and remember, your path to financial freedom starts now.